Today we're going to talk about picking that line up off the water when you're using a floating line. It's so important to get that first pickup and back cast correct, otherwise it makes everything else after that much more difficult. So when we're making pickups with floating lines, there are two uh, completely different results you usually see. Either a cast that snatches it up off the water and you see I have absolutely no loop going back at all. And that noise that I'm making right here on a nice calm day like today, it alerts every fish, something bad going on, time to run away. And you can actually see fish taking off from all this spray and noise as I rip that line up off the water. But if I do a slow motion shot here, What you saw there was how much the rod was bent. The water trying to hold down my line over bends my rod. As soon as that line comes off the water, my rod begins to straighten out and because it's bent too much, a lot of times it flexes down in the back, pulling down the bottom leg of my loop and actually making a loop that was this big into a non-existent or a loop that's this big. We want to use the end of this fly line to tell us when to start speeding up. And when the end of that fly line leaves the water, I'm gonna make my little speed up and stop and I'm gonna try to direct that up over the top of the rod so it straightens out at least level, but up in the air. Up, 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 flip it up over the top, out over the top, back down. I want to come up over the top of that rod. So I'm using the end of this colored fly line, not the leader, not the fly. As soon as that fly line itself breaks the surface right now. Now, if we come, to, come up too slow, if I come up this slow, I'm never going to be able to get, the line is still on the water and I'm never going to get it off. If I speed it up just a little more, it starts pulling it in, it starts pulling it in. Now it came off, and look where my rod is. I'm already behind my head. I don't want to be way back here. By the time the line comes off the water, I have nowhere left to go to make my speed up. So what I'm trying to do is do a lot of lifting this way. So this is the time that I will get my elbow up and away to lift the line up, up, up. So when that line was just about to come up off the water, look where the tip of my rod was. It was here and it wasn't back here. So as you're making your cast, if it doesn't seem to be working for you, pay close attention to where is your tip when that fly line leaves the water. If your tip is back here, it just left the water my tip was there or would I rather have my tip here? Now I can have a lot more stroke pulling on that nice straight tight line. So I'm going to lift up, 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 up. Now it comes off. Now I can flip it over the top. Up, 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 up. Now it comes off. I can drop my elbow back down. I can make my false cast down here. If I want my back cast to go up, I don't need to raise my hand up higher. It only goes the direction that tip was traveling when it stopped. So if I make my back cast and it's going down into the ground, the first thing I need to look at is right here. Do I have this big gap between the butt and my forearm? If I did, it's because I stopped my hand here, finished with my wrist going down, it's gonna go in the ground. Next thing you're going to be is a fly caster who casts with his hand over his head, makes his shoulder tired all day, and makes fly casting not enjoyable. So we want fly cast to be relaxing and enjoyable. As little effort as possible, up, 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 over the top, out over the top, back down. So use that end of that fly line to tell you when to speed up, but try to get that line off the water with your tip out here in front of you and not with the tip behind you. 
As soon as you start doing that, you'll be able to make a lot longer casts with a lot less effort. Once again, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please become a subscriber to this channel. If you are here in the general Orlando Central Florida area, you can come and see me for a one-on-one -on -one personal fly casting tune-up, or we can start from a very beginner and we'll show you how to get going in fly casting. I also offer video analysis of your cast. You send it to me, I check it out. If I can identify any issues that you're having, I will tell you my opinion on how best to solve those problems that's especially good for people who do not have fly casting instructors in their area. Thanks again, and we'll see you on the next one.